1010 Data helps retailers make data-driven decisions. We're going to take a closer look at the Market Basket Segmentation Report that's part of the 1010 Data Consumer Insights Platform. If you're a category manager, a merchandiser, or a marketer, or if you're generally interested in customer behavior, this analysis delivers key insights for you. The Basket Segmentation Report allows the user to group or segment the baskets which contain certain products by one metric and then view how other basket-related metrics differ across those segments. Let's say we wanted to determine if we should promote the purchase of a single 12-pack of 12-ounce cans of Coke or if we should promote the purchase of two 2-liter two bottles. We can use this report to see which purchase is more prevalent today as well as which is better for business. Starting with the date filter, I'm going to use my quick dates to select the last complete week, which is aligned with my retailer's fiscal calendar. In the product filter, I can use a custom product hierarchy, which allows me to filter or summarize by columns, which weren't available in my main hierarchy, such as brand or size. These custom hierarchies can be loaded very easily through an Excel add-on and then used instantly. In my store filter, I'm going to look at all my stores. I could just as easily choose to look at a grouping of stores or an individual location. In summarization, I want my report to be output by size. I could just as easily summarize by brand, category, or any other level of a hierarchy. I've selected a few metrics here. Percent of basket, average basket dollars, average balance of basket dollars, and average item unit price. In basket grouping, I've selected item units and one and two. Since we want to compare the purchase of a single 12-pack to the purchase of two 2 liters, we can group the baskets containing those two products by the number of each that was purchased. By looking at the results, we can see that 69% of the time, when shoppers are purchasing 12-packs, they are only purchasing one unit, compared to nearly 23% of shoppers purchasing two 2 liter bottles. We can also see that the overall baskets are bigger when shoppers purchase one 12-pack versus two 2 liters. Further, the balance of basket, which is key in understanding if a purchase is driving sales to other areas of the store, is higher with the purchase of one 12-pack versus two 2 liters. Finally, if we look at average item unit price, we can see that the purchase of one 12-pack is about $6.26. The average item unit price when two 2 liters are purchased is $1.62. When you multiply that by two, you're still bringing in less sales dollars on the two 2 liters than the 12 pack. Given all these metrics, it would appear that promoting the purchase of 12 packs is better for business than promoting two 2 liters. You can see now how this report delivers insights into consumer behavior and helps set promotion strategies surrounding the purchase of multiple items. Thank you for watching. To learn more about 1010 Data and the Consumer Insights platform, visit 1010data.com or email info at 1010data.com.